Now we move to the second example of ADC, which is in this example, we are going to use the temperature sensor as your analog input to your Arduino Uno. Okay, now we have set up the circuit, but before we proceed to the coding, we need to see um, the theory behind this temperature sensor. According to TMP36 datasheet, which you can obtain uh, this datasheet from online, the temperature that uh, will be measured by this sensor is ranging between minus 40 degree to 150 degree or minus 40 Fahrenheit to 300 to Fahrenheit. The output range or the voltage output that is produced by this sensor is ranging between 0 0.1 volt to 2.0 volt which is 0 0.1 volt is minus 40 degree and 2 volt is 150 degree but the accuracy of this sensor decreases after 125 degree and meaning that the maximum temperature that can be measured by this sensor is in real time is 100 to 25 degree only okay so the power supply that can be supplied to the sensor can be in between this value okay and then only 0 0.05 milliampere current is drawn in this sensor. Okay, before we start our coding, we need to refer the data sheet of the component first. Okay, because our coding is going to be based on this component requirement. Okay, so please bear in your mind that even though the ADC is ranging from 0 to 5 volt, but according to the data sheet, this sensor only operates between 0 0.1, 0 0.1 volt until 2 volt, which is equivalent to minus 40 degree to 150 degree. Okay, and then each of the voltage resolution or each of the bit uh, transmission, the smallest voltage for the bit changing is 10 millivolt per, per degree. So uh, the changing the change between 1 degree Celsius is 10 millivolt. Okay. But according to this data sheet, the maximum temperature that can be measured by this sensor is only until 125. So meaning that it will only produce the voltage output of 0 0.1 volt until 1.75 volt, which is equivalent to minus 40 until 125 volt. So this one is an approximation which can be calculated through this voltage step resolution. 
Okay, because the difference here is uh, almost 25 degree. Is 25 degree, so 25 degree times with 10 millivolt. So meaning that the highest voltage is 1.75 volt. So we are going to use uh, these features or this information in our coding later. Okay. So these are the steps to convert. Uh, the digital value to Celsius in Arduino. The first step is you need to read the ADC value from the analog pin. Okay, now back to the code. So please bear in your mind, we always need to declare the pin mode of the pins that we are going to use. So in this case, we are using A4 here, okay, as our analog input. Okay, and then if you are, since we are going to use uh, the serial port, so we need to declare it. with some bulk rate. Okay, so I'm using the default bulk rate. Then the second step is we need to convert this ADC value to voltage value. So to convert this digital value to voltage value, we need to use some mathematical function. So I am going to save the output of this conversion into one variable. So to convert the digital value into voltage, we need to times the, the, uh, the temperature in digital value with the voltage resolution of this conversion. Okay, so we need to times it with the smallest voltage resolution. So to have the smallest voltage resolution, we need to divide the reference voltage for the ADC, which is five volt in this case, divide with hundred, uh, with divide with thousand twenty four. After we have converted it into the voltage value, now we can convert this voltage value to temperature. So, uh, since the temperature has a floating value or has a point, so we need to use float here.
So the voltage temperature is times with 100. Okay. So this one you can refer to the data sheet of TMP36. Okay, now we can print out uh, all of this output into our serial monitor. Okay, so just now uh, we get a zero value because at this voltage temperature is going to have a floating number here. Okay, it's going to have a point, des point number here and therefore we need to convert it to float. Okay, and we will see the result again. So when you move the slider to the lowest uh, temperature, the output of the coding should give you minus 40. Okay, but now uh, the output that you get is 9.77 degrees Celsius, which is wrong, right? And then when you slide the temperature to the highest value, of the temperature, you will get approximately 174.8 degrees Celsius, okay, which is again wrong. So we need to rectify this code. Okay. So according to the data sheet, the maximum Celsius or the maximum temperature that we can obtain is 125. Okay, but from our coding, we get approximately 175 degree, which is uh, 50 degree difference from this data sheet. And therefore, we need to reduce that degree. Okay, so for 50 degree Celsius is equivalent to So 50 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 50 degree times with this step resolution. Okay. So you can cancel the Celsius. So you will get 500 millivolt or equivalent to 0 0.5. So this is the value that we need to deduct from the original code in our Arduino. So we stop the simulation. Okay. Now, from the voltage temperature here, okay, before it prints the temperature here, so we need to deduct this final voltage with the calculated difference that we have calculated before. Okay. We start the simulation again. Okay, now we slide this one to the lowest temperature. Okay. So from your coding now, you can see the lowest temperature is minus 40, which is correct. Okay. And then we slide to the maximum temperature. And the 
highest temperature here is also correct, approximately 235 degrees Celsius. Okay, so when suddenly your coding is not, ex it, it is expected, at, it is not as what you as expected, so you have to change the code based on the data sheet from your sensor. Always refer to your data sheet. Okay, and then always refer to your theory. So this is uh, the result for the temperature sensor as the analog input of the Arduino Uno.